April 23rd. The Worship of the Work. Laborers, Together with God. 1 Corinthians 3 9. Beware of any work for God which enables you to evade concentration on Him. A great many Christian workers worship their work. The one concern of a worker should be the concentration on God, and this will mean that all other margins of life, mental, moral, and spiritual, are free with the freedom of a child, a worshiping child, not a wayward child. A worker without this solemn dominant note of concentration on God is apt to get his work on his neck, and there is no margin of body, mind, or spirit free. Consequently, he becomes spent out and crushed. There is no freedom, no delight in life. Nerves, mind, and heart are so crushingly burdened that God's blessing cannot rest. But the other side is just as true. When once the concentration is on God, all the margins of life are free and under the dominance of God alone. There is no responsibility on you for the work. The only responsibility you have is to keep in living constant touch with God and to see that you allow nothing to hinder your cooperation with Him. The freedom after sanctification is the freedom of a child. The things that used to keep the life pinned down are gone. But be careful to remember that you are freed for one thing only, to be absolutely devoted to your co-worker. We have no right to judge where we should be put, or to have preconceived notions as to what God is fitting us for. God engineers everything. Wherever He puts us, our one great aim is to pour out a wholehearted devotion to Him in that particular work. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might.